Getting enough sleep and feeling well rested both physically and mentally has been a really big priority for me lately. So that's why I'm so thankful that our sponsor for this video is Helix Sleep. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your specific needs and preferences shipped right to your door. I mean, everybody's different and they have different preferences when it comes to how they sleep and anything in general. And Helix knows that and that's why they made a sleep quiz that matches your unique body type with your sleep preferences to give you the perfect mattress for you. Based on my quiz results, Helix matched me with their Moonlight Lux mattress. And listen, I am a stomach and side sleeper and I prefer a soft mattress. My last mattress, I was so nitpicky and I tested out all of the mattresses at the store. I thought I picked the perfect one, but what was delivered to me was a rock. But this one was the perfect firmness immediately. It came out of the box super soft. I noticed that when I lay down for the night, I am not tossing and turning and readjusting 50 million times before finding a comfortable position. And I just wake up from sleep feeling more rested. Plus it's really easy to buy online. It comes delivered to your doorstep in a box that looks like it should not fit a mattress. The setup process is pretty easy. You just cut open the plastic and it just some florals in front of your eyes. It's probably like the funnest mattress setup that I've ever <laughs> experienced. <laughs> it's like oddly satisfying. But if you're nervous about buying something online without trying it out first, Helix has a 100 night sleep trial. That means you can try it in your home for over three months to make sure you love it. And if you don't, they'll pick it up for you and you'll get a full refund. Plus they also have financing options and flexible payment plans. I absolutely love my Helix mattress and I think that you would too. So if you're in the market for a new bed, go to helixsleep.com slash Beatrice Caruso. And when you use my link, you get up to $200 off your Helix sleep mattress plus two free pillows. It is currently 7 a.m. I was trying to get out of the house at 6 a.m. because I have been having the urge to go run bleachers. And when I say run, I use that word very loosely because your girl is walking up them. <laughs> um, I haven't done a really intense cardio workout like that in quite a while, so we'll see how it goes. But I've been feeling like I've been wanting to do this workout for a while and I keep driving by and there's always some kind of sports team practicing and I don't know about you but I don't want to work out in front of a bunch of teenagers I don't even think I wanted to work out in front of a bunch of teenagers when I was a teenager like in gym and stuff just never been my mo you know it's like just not ideal so we're gonna drive by and see what's going down and see if I get brave today to just do it if there is a whole thing happening uh, this little stupid hair I look crazy Well, I'm not equipped for cardio anymore. I could taste the blood from my throat. And there's these little old men there that were just going up and down the bleachers the entire time, like not dying at all, talking about whatever. So I'm just out of shape.
I'm gonna have some breakfast. I made some chia pudding yesterday with coconut milk and blueberries. It was way more pretty in the picture that I followed, but um, I didn't do the recipe correctly because you have to like wait for it to chill and then put the topper on. But sometimes you just throw everything in a jar and you don't care about aesthetics. I would not by any means say that this is good, but it does feel pretty good on my throat. Like it's just cold and my throat is cached right now, but it's pretty bland. Okay, I have to feed these birds that hate me. Normally, I'm like really pretty good with animals. These birds are just not a fan. Um, this one hates everyone. This one only likes its owner. But Anna and her family are in Hawaii, so I am feeding these birds that do not like me. Okay, Pocky. You behave. I have been using a lot of herbs lately for cooking. And what I've noticed is it's like $3 for like a little box that has a handful of dill or parsley or thyme in it. And they don't have an incredibly long shelf life. It's a little bit expensive. So then I was like, I am a certified plant mom. Cedric is thriving, plus all my other plants that I haven't named. So come along with me on a journey to make an herb garden. I'm very excited about this. I might buy a grow light. I don't know. Let's go to the Lowe's. Okay, before we go to Lowe's, we have to check and see if we have potting mix here. So I'm not buying multiple bags of soil all the time, my entire life. Bingo, we got some. How much though? Does it have a plethora of spiders in it? I don't know. That should be enough. Okay, we have a decision to make. Do I want like long rows of herbs or do I want individual pots of different herbs? We should probably get the herbs first. So that we know how many we're going to be accommodating. We have an emergency of a different kind. I stepped on someone's ABC gum and I don't know what to do. <laughs> just walking around sticking to the floor. Well, they didn't have the main part of the activity which is the seeds for the herbs because it's no longer summer and I guess people don't plant herbs in fall. I don't know, but I still got all the apparatuses we might need to order it off Amazon. Okay, good news, past me was lazy. Jeez. And never planted an herb garden. So I have all the seeds and some of them are organic. Fancy, but I only bought six pots. So we're gonna have to triage and decide which ones we will use most. Also, I ordered Panera bread. Because it's fall time, the stores might not be selling seeds, but the Panera bread is serving my favorite soup ever, which I have been waiting for all summer and spring. Their autumn squash soup. Oh. Anyways, let's triage these seeds. So we got six available spots. Obviously, cilantro is going in one of the pots. I love cilantro. It's my favorite herb. Rosemary, a lot of stuff calls for rosemary. Basil, of course, get in there girl. Um, tarragon, we don't really know her. We don't really know her, so she's on the maybe list. Oregano, I feel like I've been coming across a lot. We will give her a go. Same thing with parsley. Also, I stood there awkwardly and just grabbed a bunch of paint swatches because I have an idea to make like little 
like little flags for each of my herbs. And the lady behind the counter was just watching me grab a bunch of paint swatches and she knew that I wasn't gonna buy any paint in her heart and her soul. But I feel like she's probably used to that. I feel like that's a normal thing that people do. Grab paint swatches, that's a normal thing I do. I probably have a whole drawer of paint swatches upstairs. I didn't need more, but I'm not a perfect person. Anyways, I don't know if this was legitimately cheaper than just buying the herbs over and over again because um, I spent like $70. But I got this pot because I have a Monstera that has rooted and needed to be potted for quite a while now and I have just been neglecting that for probably a month. But now she's getting a beautiful green pot with a green little plate. And it's probably way more than you wanted to know about any of my plants, but I'm very excited about it. Okay, she never fully recovered from when Douglas thrashed. So we're gonna need to clean it up a little bit and get rid of the dead and hope for the best. But look at these roots. Okay, I'm very afraid that there are a plethora of wolf spiders in this bag because it is that season. And if I was a spider, I'd probably hide in a potting mix bag. Just seems like spider activity. Clumple steel skin. The smell of soil makes me feel like I can't breathe. It's very like suffocating. You just get right in there and we will tuck you in. Everything will be okay. If I could turn back time, I wouldn't have made such a mess. Look at you. We're homesteading, bitch. Growing our own food. What are we gonna do next? Make bread? Make our own bread? Maybe. Maybe. Waiting for my mom to get into the car because my grandma called and said she has a surprise for me. And I am excited. She probably got it from the Ark because that's where she gets all the things. <laughs> she always finds things from the Ark to give me. I'm excited. I'm excited for a surprise. Mm. Mm. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I got you a fanny pack with eyes so you can see where you're going. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I figured it would work for your salmon. It does. It would work for my salmon pocket. <laughs> I like that it has eyes. <laughs> That's cute. That's funny. You Thanks, got a weird grandma. little grandma. Get that out of my no. face. Okay. <laughs> Hola, como estas? If you're wondering why I'm on the floor, sometimes it just be that way. Don't worry about it. Anyways, my grandma found me a fanny pack at the Ark. It just proves she watches the vlogs. She knows what's going on. She's in the loop. She knows what I need. It's got little Sharpie eyeballs drawn on it, but I think we can do better. So we're gonna be doing a lot of crafts today, people. We're gonna paint it some new eyeballs. We've got this acrylic outdoor paint in a barrage of colors. We've got this palette that I've never cleaned a day in my life. And we will decide what kind of face we want it to have. ASMR. Oh, that's kind of a nice sound. <laughs> I've been playing too much. Let's see. Fanny Pack Reveal 2022. 
got a mustache. It's not drag it. No. Fashion bitch. Learn about it. Also, by the way, people were saying to not give him treats when he's like being reactive or whatever, but that wasn't what the treats are for. The treats are for like getting him to follow commands when we're out on walks when there's like nothing going on. So like that maybe he'll do it when like something big goes on eventually. So sorry I didn't clarify that. I wasn't rewarding bad behavior on the bean machine. Let's get to walking. I'm gonna put on like a shirt though, cause it is a little bit cold, a little bit nippy out here. I realized as I'm editing this video that I did not close out the vlog. So here I am full raccoon mode doing so because I wanted to let you know that I appreciate you watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you on the next one.